Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Kingdom, Two Crowns. So this is where, this is where it really begins. Because once we have this tier unlocked, we can do some super cool stuff. Unfortunately, I'm also light on coins because, well, fucking coin bag has like a thousand goddamn gems in it. You. time. This is the island I am staying at for a season. We should be getting pretty much into summer at this point. At least I think it's going to be summer. Once we make it through the night, it's going to be a mad dash out to get um, some of the coin boxes out there, because those are going to be sorely needed. Come on, Greed. So not coming from this side. Start getting those cut down. Nope, I'm not gonna open that right now. Just don't have the fucking space for it. I don't have the coins to get that final technology. Unless they've added a new tier of technology since I have been here. I don't care about. All right, I think we're... All right, that right there, I believe, means that we are going to have an event happening for the next night, which is pretty shitty because... Still kind of new on this, this particular um, island. But I think we should be able to manage
archers as I can fucking fit in this area. yet either because that's not going to be useful yet either. Ugh. I need more vagrants. Okay, not going to worry about that yet. You guys not going back to the fucking base. Fuck corner. So every certain number of days, a blood moon event happens, which spawns an, an increased amount of the greed. Um, I don't think it's going to be very terrible this night because I'm brand new on this island. And it's pretty early. But I have been wrong before and got my ass absolutely clapped. Okay, it looks like... Looks like the greed are not coming from this direction. So we got pretty damn lucky. Okay, this is very, very good. I'm gonna try and expand out here. Super duper quick. Alright, perfect. And then after a blood moon, blood moon at night, usually it's a night of calm, which the greed don't attack. However, it feels like I have noticed in the past that that's not always quite accurate or true of precisely what happens, but, you know, you just kind of fucking go with the flow. No, no more fucking goddamn gems. There's not another coin chest over here? That's disappointing. One deer, two deer, three, four deer. Okay. This right here is another mount. I'm not actually going to use it. I just need to get rid of some of these fucking crystals out of my goddamn bag. Okay, beautiful. I should build a wall here because this will actually expand my kingdom. I'm gonna build a tower there.
want to get some of these coins back. Now, since I did expand the walls of my encampment, it's not going to allow uh, the critter dens to spawn in here. However, this will be a safe area where I can start building more structure and more importantly, start producing farmland, which will be very important here very soon. Let's just go ahead and get one of you working. Do I have enough to upgrade this? I don't think so. No. Yeah, we're great. I can also start cutting down these goddamn woods. fast enough yet to start working on those. Let's just upgrade the number of fucking archers we got. Day hits, these day are going down. This person is the banker. He is very, very important for winter because the more coins you give him, he'll start you'll start earning interest off that, which is basically one of the only ways you'll be able to make it through winter without running out of any money. Chest. I don't have room for this shit. Oh my god, it's goddamn fucking deer. How close are we to... Yeah, we're pretty fucking close. We're not gonna be able to tear down more trees to get there. Sorry, builder guys, I gotta get to this little stream right here because this is where I can build a farm.
of those. There we go. And farms have two tiers, tier one and tier two. Always get far farms. Farmer Bud running off to do his business. These guys should have a lot of coins. Perfect. Eat some grass, please. Run over here, drop some coins at the vagrant camp. Sort of what a farm does is it just kind of expands out to both the left and to the right, and then they just start producing a lot of coins, which we are going to need them to fill up our bank vault as soon as humanly parse as soon as possible. Do you have any coins? Yes. Why don't you upgrade this vault of stone? You guys have any coins? Farmer. Dropping some coins. Good to see. Alright. We're going to upgrade this wall right away. That's a pretty sizable number of these nerds. Actually, no, let's not do that yet. Let's upgrade this. Let's see if that's automatically going to cause that wall to be upgraded. Any stuff? No. Okay. Uh, 
Perfect. This is a catapult. Once your technology is high enough, you can bust out its catapult, which your builders will actually man and take advantage of. You guys have to have some fucking coins. Okay, good. Pretty sure some Vega camps back here, right? Bear. Bear is not a bad mount. He the only issue is he's just super fucking slow. But he gets like an attack that could really wreck house. However, using any kind of an attack with your with your ruler is very, very, very dangerous. Now some pikemen. I don't really care too much for them right now. Vagrants and citizens, so I can turn them into soldiers. Let's throw a bunch in here for some more archers. Never have too many archers. I don't know for another farmer. I think our farmers are okay though. Catapult. This catapult is super useful. Unfortunately, one of the things that sucks is when you start working on a wall, they tear it down so then everybody runs back to the previous defensive point until it gets done being worked on, and then they run all the way back. Kind of annoying, but, uh, what the fuck are you gonna do? Hello, farmers. Thanks for the call. Okay. So we absolutely need to keep pushing to the left. Because also certain technology won't appear until you have enough room within your walls to allow it to pop up. Like the farmer thing. That won't pop up unless you have enough room. Which unfortunately, that means we're going to lose this vagrant camp. But we absolutely need to expand this way. Do I have enough? No, I have nowhere near enough.
the mount. Not gonna worry about it. We actually need to get back. No, they took my damn dog! Whatever, we'll be fine. We'll get him back in the not too distant future. You know, I'm just gonna fucking activate these. Actually, I need to, now that I've activated him, I need him to come with me. Inside, so we can't do shit with him right now. I already miss Frank. I think this should be sufficient. Come on, dear. I want to get you close enough to the arches over here so you die. Farmers pretty badly. This is now that we have multiple farm areas. Oh my god, I fucking hate that. They always run in the most ridiculous areas. Or directions. Okay, all of you should have a lot of money.
much like a better mount. I was gonna say, you guys got the fuck catapult, right? Alright, I am actually gonna make a cut once this wave is over and then we'll start back up running like badass that. So I'll see you next time and thank you for watching.